Hi there, Kendra Tolbert here. I'm a registered dietitian and yoga teacher, and I specialize in women's health, fertility, and PCOS. Today, I have a yin yoga sequence for fertility for you. If you're not familiar with yin yoga, it's definitely a more introspective and passive practice than what I've shared here previously. I really hope that you enjoy it. It's based in one of my favorite um, traditional medicine practices, traditional Chinese medicine, and a part of the purpose behind why the poses are approached the way they're approached is in order to stimulate the meridians from traditional Chinese medicine that support our health. Now, the poses that I chose were really designed to support the organ systems that are associated with fertility. So there are some things that you might want to grab before we get started. You might want to grab something warm because some people find that they get a little bit chilly when they practice yin. You might want to grab, actually, go ahead and grab it, <laughs> something to sit on. That can either be a blanket, folded blankets, pillows, anything, just to prop up your hips a bit, and either blocks or block-like items for one of the poses that we'll be doing. You'll also want to set up next to a wall for the last two poses that we'll be exploring at the end of the practice. So grab all of that, set up next to your wall, and let's get started. Grab your prop, whatever you'll be sitting up on, and place it at the center of your mat. Take a seat on it so that your hips are just off the edge of it and place the soles of your feet together, knees out wide so that you're creating a bit of a diamond shape. Extend your spine and then hinge forward at the hips, just as long as your spine can stay straight. Then, if you'd like to, you can completely release down, allowing your spine to round, allowing your chin to draw in towards your chest. Breathe here. Notice whatever sensation you might be experiencing in your body here. Slowly, come up, take your time, we're never in any rush. Extend your legs out in front of you, and then shake your legs out. Come to stillness. How would you describe what you're feeling in your hips, your thighs, your legs? Grab a prop that you can use to lift your hips up for our next pose. So maybe that's a block, bolster. Lie back on the center of your mat, knees bent and soles of your feet flat on the floor. Grab 
grab your prop, lift your hips, and then place the prop underneath your sacrum. Rest here, breathe here. Place your hands down by your sides, palms up. And if it feels good to you, close your eyes and bring your attention to your lower abdomen. Lift your hips, remove the prop from underneath your hips and set it aside. Then lower your hips and place your hands down by your side, palms up. Allow your knees to fall in towards each other as you walk your feet out as wide as your mat. Place one hand at the center of your chest and the other on your lower abdomen. If it feels good to you, I invite you to close your eyes. Bring your attention to your heart, to the area underneath the hand at the center of your chest. Allow your awareness to slowly travel to the spot underneath your hand on your lower abdomen. What do you notice here? What do you feel here? What do you know to be true here? Slowly flutter your eyes open, walk your feet in, and allow your knees to move apart. Roll over onto your side and press yourself up. Come onto your hands and your knees. If you'd like to, you can place some sort of padding underneath your knees if they tend to be a little bit sensitive. With your hips over your knees, walk your hands forward to the top of your mat and lower your head down towards the mat. 
Lower your forearms down towards the mat. Hips high, heart low. Breathe here. Slowly, begin to walk your hands back underneath your shoulders so you can press yourself up to come back onto your hands and your knees. Check in with your breath. Check in with your body. Begin to rock from side to side. Come back to center and be still here. Enjoy this moment of stillness. All you have to do right now is be still. Make your way over to your wall. Take your time. Place your right hip as close as you can get it to the wall, knees bent, soles of your feet flat on the floor. Then begin to lie back onto your elbows and swivel your torso so that it's perpendicular to the wall. Then with your knees bent, place the soles of your feet against the wall. Walk your feet out and place your knees into your hands. Your elbows are on the floor, so you're using your hands to prop up your knees against the wall, or prop up your feet against the wall as your knees are in your hand. Walk your feet in together, still pressed against the wall, then extend your legs, feet go up the wall, for legs up the wall. Place your hands down by your side, palms up. Bring your attention to your heart and breathe here. Once again, allow your awareness, your attention to travel down your body to your lower abdomen. Breathe here. Thank you. 
Bend your knees to bring the soles of your feet flat against the wall. Then slowly roll over onto your side before pushing yourself up to come into a comfortable seated position. Place one foot in front of the other and maybe if you'd like to, you place a prop underneath your hips. Inhale to circle your arms up overhead, palms touch. Exhale for hands to come down to the center of your chest. Take this moment to thank yourself for moving and breathing today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Be well and bye for now.